What's up, boys? We're we'll talking about the best player props for today uh, for the NBA slate. Short five game slate. I really, really, really stress you guys to play light today. Do not go heavy like you would with a like nine game slate like it was yesterday because you guys are going to take a beating today if you guys do play pretty hard today because five game slates are always super, super tricky. But uh, if you guys aren't already on prize picks or under dot, the links are in my description. 100% recommend signing up for both of these websites. Both very, very good sites. Uh, they match your first deposit up to $100, so definitely use my code when you guys sign up. Uh, so if you guys deposit $50, they'll match it. If you guys $100 total, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so definitely recommend signing up with these links. Both the websites amazing. I also do have a Patreon, so if anyone is interested in that, I definitely recommend signing up. $10 a month to give you guys my picks every single day, and you guys get access to my premium Discord. Uh, speaking of Discord, though, definitely join my Discord that is in my description. We talk about stuff all the time. Uh, that part's free, too. The premium one is, the, is mixed in with the Patreon. But uh, do not sign up for the Patreon today. Sign up tomorrow because you guys are going to get screwed if you guys sign up today. Sign up tomorrow. Do not sign up for the Patreon today. If you guys do want it for today, just talk to me on uh, DM on Discord. I'll get you guys in there. But uh, let's go ahead, though, and we're going to hop into this, though. But before we do, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Really does help me out. So, yeah. Also, turn on post notifications. That helps me out as well. Can keep you guys up to date with all the uploads uh, for all these slates, NFL and NBA. So, let's go ahead and talk about this. Uh, pretty much covered everything. Use the promo code. Uh, join the Patreon if you guys want. Join the Discord and like and subscribe. Um, all those links are in the description as well. So let's go ahead and talk about this here. I don't know why it says it's starting an hour because it's definitely not. But uh, let's go ahead though. Let's talk about some of these here. So I'm going to save a lot for the Patreon today. But I'm thinking we can start with some points here. I could give you guys my favorite one. But uh, I don't know, man. I will do it. Desmond Bain is currently my favorite one. I'm still going to... I'm still waiting to put out stuff for the... Uh, Patreon today, but Desmond Bean is one that I'm really, really, really thinking about today. He's hitting four of his last five. Uh, very, very good. Uh, he's going against Toronto today, so it shouldn't be too hard of a matchup. We can go ahead and take a look at the starting lineup for tonight and the spread. So Desmond Bain here starting at shooting guard, going against the Toronto Raptors. Three and a half point spread right there. 217 total points is projected uh, by Vegas. So uh, these guys are out. Uh, John Morant, so that's a pretty big one. Um, and then Williams right there is a game time decision. So shooting guard against the Raptors. Let's see how they are against shooting guard. So the Raptors here, they are allowing the fifth most points to the shooting guard position at 23.4. I always say don't really pay attention too much to these numbers. Kind of pay attention to where they rank among other teams. But uh, yeah, they're they're allowing the fifth most points to shooting guards, which is huge. So I definitely like Desmond being on the over today, especially with his four out of five hit rate. Atlanta was the only one he didn't hit over. Which is kind of weird because they're the third easiest defense, but he's hit four other times against harder defenses. So, But he did go against Toronto already and had 20 points. So, yeah, I think it's uh, definitely a way to go there for uh, Desmond Bain. So, this one probably one of my favorite ones today at the moment. So, give you guys one right there. Um, we can go ahead and take a look at rebounds here. Um, yeah, we'll go and take a look at rebounds. Let's go ahead and go with Alec Burks. Alec Burks, I think, is a pretty solid one today. He's at five rebounds currently. I believe he's at five and a half on other sports books. Or maybe it's four and a half. They might, I, no, I think it was four and a half. They upped it. But uh, he has pushed one time, lost once. So he is three, one, and one in his last five. So pretty solid record right there for Alec Burks. But uh, let's go ahead, though, take a look at this game here. Where is this one? That's actually the first one. So we're in a point guard against the Brooklyn Nets today. So seven, seven and a half point spread. Could get out of hand. I don't really expect it. The only game I recommend not taking overs in is this Detroit game because it's such a low spread. But uh, although Damian Lillard is out, so that spread actually might adjust. But I'd probably still stay away from overs in this game. But I don't know. It's a, it's a pretty decent game. But I don't know. It's a nine-point spread right now. That could end up being a blowout. So try to stay away from the overs if you guys can. But uh, under is probably a decent play in that one. But I really the game, I'd say you're fine taking the over in some of these, but uh, so yeah, Alec Burks here, point guard going against the Brooklyn Nets. So see where they rank in point or in, uh, rebounds allowed. So the Brooklyn Nets here are allowing the what's that? Three, four, five, six. They're allowing the six most rebounds to the point guard position, which is awesome for Alec Burks, a guy who is three one and one in his last five. So should be pretty good today for Alec Burks. I trust him. I think he should do fairly well today. So pretty good prop right there in my opinion. Let's go take a look at assists here. This one, it's gonna, it's a little weird because they upped it, which I'm not a big fan of. But that's James Harden. He was at eight and a half earlier. They bumped it up to nine. So there's a chance of a push, unfortunately. But uh, this was pretty good at eight and a half. He's he's only missed twice. He's hit in three out of his last three, three out of the last five. 
But he's got a pretty good hit rate on this in the last 10 out two, I believe. So nine assists right here for James Harden. So we take a look at this. Uh, James Harden starting at point guard today. He's gonna have a you can have a ball a lot. This is not the it's just the expected lineup, it's not the confirmed lineup, but right here, point guard, James Harden going against the Brooklyn Nets. See how many assists they're allowing. So um, I did say he's going against the Brooklyn Nets. I mean he's going up against the Knicks. So let's take a look at the Knicks here and see where they are. And I think they're yeah, they're right in the middle here. 8.43 is what they're allowing. Again, don't really focus on the number. Focus more on where they rank among other teams. But, uh, yeah, he, the Harden should have a pretty good day today, rebounds-wise, points-wise, and also assist-wise. I think it could be a pretty solid play for James Harden in the over today. So, yeah, not a bad prop right there, but uh, I'm not a big fan that they kind of up that. That's kind of making me want to stay away from this. So I'm not as high on this right now. But uh, I like some other props a little better than this one since they upped that to 9. But not a big fan of the pushes, but... Sometimes you got to be okay with the push, but he's also kind of all over the place at times. Like right here at 14 against Cleveland, and right there he had seven. But he is on a pretty good path right here in the last three. So I'm not sure if he's playing shooting guard in those games too. So I don't know. But since he's been playing, he's definitely played point guard in some of these games. So he's hit the ball a lot more. He's been getting a lot more assists. So pretty pretty interesting right there for James Harden. Um, probably gonna be another short video today, man. Uh, just because of the short slate. We take a look at fancy points, a guy who has not been too hot, and that is, where is he at? Um, Isaiah Stewart. Ooh, they, ooh, they killed that one. He was at 24 earlier. He's down to 21. So, yeah, you can kind of see why he was pretty good at 24, but they kind of, down, they downed it to 21. I should, I didn't even take that one yet. I don't think I've really locked anything in today. Um, but, yeah, I should have taken that one when he was at 24. We take a look at another fancy prop one if they still have it up, unless they kind of bump that one too. Um, do they take him down? Where's he at? I think they took him down. Okay, they killed both of mine then. I like Mitchell Robinson under 21, but he is not on the list. So, because we can take a look at any fancy props ones. They took it down, I think, because of uh, injuries and players starting, not starting, all that other stuff. So, um,. Yeah, we can go ahead and give you guys one more here. We'll give out one more. We're going to go over to rebounds and give out. This is another one of my favorites today, probably, and that's Jeremy Grant at four rebounds. So four rebounds, very, very solid. As you can see, he has hit in three out of his last five, and he's pushed twice. So pushes, not the worst thing in the world. Not exactly ideal, though. But, yeah, he's a little bit over the place. He's got four and six, kind of within that range uh, against the Lakers there. But uh, he should be pretty good today. Um Detroit versus the uh, Trailblazers here, and that game actually might be a little bit closer now that Lillard's out, so that's kind of good news for Detroit. I don't think that spread's updated. I feel like it's going to be a way different spread uh, than nine. I think that might be like a five-point spread, maybe. It's Detroit, though, so maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how McCollum does, too. He should end up being pretty good. But I, uh, Powell's out, too, so I don't know why that's very likely to play. Unless I read that wrong, but I'm pretty sure Powell is also out. I might be wrong, but I think he is. So, but uh, that spread should definitely get. This should be a lot closer of a game now. But Jeremy Grant starting at paw forward going against the Portland Trailblazers. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So let's take a look at rebounds here against Portland. And Portland is about right in the middle here. So as you can see, pretty close to both sides here. Um, yeah, 10.81 is what they're allowing to the power forward position. And all he needs to do is grab five and four for a push. So I'm, I'm pretty confident that it does grab at least four in this game. So one of my favorite ones today for sure. But uh, should be pretty good. Again, hopefully a closer game. We'll see. We can actually refresh here and see if they adjusted Powell. They did adjust Powell. They still say nine point spread though. I don't know that that's updated. Let me check. Let me check here. Um, yeah, it's a six and a half point spread now. So that's not updated. Six and a half point spread now, 211 total points. 211 and a half total points is what they have it at now. So that could be pretty good right there. Lower the point total and lower the spread. So yeah, this is a game we could potentially be taking the over now. Six and a half points is not horrible. So definitely do like this for Jeremy Grant today. Uh, rebounds wise, so could be pretty good. Hopefully I don't adjust that number. I would not be surprised if they did. So but yeah, that's going to do it for the video, man. I appreciate you watching. Ken, if anyone is new, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. The links for everything is in the description, whether that's promo codes for underdog and prize picks, Patreon link. If you guys are interested in that, definitely recommend signing up tomorrow. Please do sign up tomorrow, not today. But uh, Discord, 
is down there as well. That one's free. So uh, but yeah, and make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Those things help me out and I will see you guys next time. Appreciate you guys watching.